Today, I am making turkey, butternut squash, and kale muffins. It's my turkey dance. Because for 365 days of the year, I crave Thanksgiving. Yes, 365 days. Literally, when my fourth plate of Thanksgiving is done, I still crave more. And I actually get a little sad that the holiday's over. Just a little. That's why I'm gonna make my turkey, butternut squash, and kale muffins right now because I crave Thanksgiving every day and I really, really, really want some now. I'm going to put about a pound and a quarter of ground turkey in a mixing bowl, just like that. <laughs> I have a little bowl here of some steamed kale that I'm gonna add to the mix. I roasted a little butternut squash in the oven at 350 degrees for about an hour. And this right here, this is the result. It's steaming. Woo! So I'm gonna add it to this mixture here. Now you can buy a whole butternut squash, peel it, chop it up, and roast it. Or you can get the pre-cut up stuff. Or you could honestly just buy a can of pureed butternut squash and pour it in here. That would make this a whole lot easier. However, I really like chunky muffins. Uh, that sounded disgusting, but whatever, it's true. I love chunky muffins. So I like to actually roast the butternut squash. All right, so this is the mixture thus far. I have turkey, I have kale, and I have butternut squash. Now, this is gonna sound a little odd, but I'm gonna put some cinnamon in it. But I promise you it's really good. I'm gonna be nice and liberal here because there's a lot of meat in there. Oh man, it smells so good. And then I'm gonna take a trusty fork here and mix this all together. And actually, as you mix this, you're gonna add a little egg white because you want it to stick a little better. So I have a little egg white right here and I'm gonna drizzle in about a fourth of a cup. All right, so I've mixed it all up. See how pretty that is? And now I'm going to distribute this mixture into the muffin tray. Check them out. I could eat it raw and then get salmonella and die. <laughs> I don't know if I'd die, but okay, maybe I would. These are gonna go in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I'm gonna check to see if they're done, which they more than likely will be. So then I can gobble them all up. Ah! Yes, I will eat a pound of turkey, by the way. My family can vouch for that. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing dancing here? I should go get it. So this is what they look like when they're cooked. I'm gonna let them cool a little bit because as you've seen in previous cooking videos, we tend to eat things too early, thus they're too hot, thus we burn our mouths, and it's just not a pretty look. Tara, I'm talking to you. I'm very, very impressed with myself. They look so pretty and they look really delicious and I'm so excited to eat them. You have no idea. Well, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Oh wait, it's not Thanksgiving right yet. <laughs> well, for me it is because I am going to dig into these. Mm, I unleashed a turkey monster. So this is gonna sound even weirder, but I could put stevia on these. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna see what happens. Strange but good, right? Ooh, that was a lot of stevia. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thanksgiving is going on in my mouth right now. Oh, the pilgrims would be so jealous. The stevia is an amazing addition, by the way. I honestly think the only thing that these could have used is a little fat. So if you want to add some olive oil or coconut oil to the mix, go for it. These are lean, mean, and deliciously clean. All right, everyone. I have to go enjoy these. It's my Thanksgiving today. I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as I do. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have new weird videos every week coming your way. Do I have something in my teeth? I don't care. These are too good to be true. I have to stop myself. Because they're so good.